Good afternoon from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Friday, February 5. Here she is, the 1911 WH Mullins 18 foot leader. Our fabricator has done his magic and I've spent the better part of the last two days removing all of the paint from the hull and all of the varnish from the uh, gunnels. Randy, our fabricator, managed to build an entirely new keel uh, using his brake and uh, some 18 gauge steel. He then created panels that were flat and rolled up to that he welded uh, to the keel and welded to the hull and as a result has created I think a, a really excellent result given what he had to work with at the beginning. So as we sight down this side which has a little bit better light you can see what he cut out completely and then fabricated and welded and ground back into place. To be sure, we have an immense amount of fairing to do, but unless and until this 1911 WH Mullins 18 foot leader had a sound spine, there was really no point doing anything else. So, we will be in conference with her owner to determine exactly to what standard he wishes us to fare this hull, but it is, as we look down, it is just a sea of hills and valleys. Uh, we will not fare the riveted joints. This is a stamped steel hull after all, and at least above the waterline, uh, these riveted seams should still remain visible. They're part of the boat. However, if the owner wishes us to, we can make them all disappear. I, the technique used to apply her name was rather interesting. Uh, the transom on each side was uh, painted with uh, a primer and then a, a high gloss white paint over which uh, was applied a, a series of just paper stencils, letters, and then the red was applied to the surface and over those stencils. Pretty, pretty ingenious. All gone now, of course. The good news is we didn't find a single rivet, a single point in any seam that is in jeopardy. This hull is really tight, especially now that she has a spine that is in uh, sound condition. So the next step is fairing. And we will be using uh, 3M premium marine filler. You might ask, why don't we just use good old fashioned Bondo? Bondo's no good below the waterline. Uh, below the waterline, Bondo is like a sponge. It soaks up water, causes paint to uh, flake away. It's just the wrong material for the, for the job. So, the week ends on a high note. Stripping paint and varnish is not my favorite part of saving old wooden boats and now old steel boats as well. So, hoping you have a great weekend. Thank you very much. Goodbye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.